I think I'm live. Um, all right. I was actually, <clears throat> I meant to go live a few minutes ago and, um, I was having fun talking to some of you on the live chat here. So anyways, how are you doing? I hope you all are well. Uh, I am well, but I'm going to get to what this is about. I noticed that there, there were a few comments initially um, who were trying to figure out, you know, like what this is about because they remember something like this from uh, a couple months ago, a few months ago or something, several months ago. Three, maybe. Anyways, um, and you're right. This has been an ongoing battle with YouTube that I've had. And this recent one uh, was extremely frustrating, extraordinarily difficult. And I'm going to read to you some emails that YouTube sent me. And I'm going to show you the conversation that I've been having with them for a few days. Them to me and my responses back to them and so on and so forth. So you could get a clear idea of what this is exactly that's going on. Uh, and if there's any frustration in my voice, <laughs> I'm, I don't know if there is, but if there's any frustration in my voice, let me explain. First, I'm going to tell you, um, thank you, Max. I appreciate that. What does this say? Jack is the YouTube OG and the reason I made my account. Thank you, Max, very much. Appreciate that, buddy. Um, so in the in the description, you're going to notice a link there to my locals, which is kind of like Patreon, but it's just a flat, you know, it's it's just a flat five bucks a month. It's it's something that you know I upload a lot of content there. It's exclusive stuff that you're not going to see anywhere else, and you know all of that. So if you want to support my cause to make the world a better place through laughter, then you can click that link, jackvale.locals.com. And the link is right there at the very beginning of the description. Now, I'm going to explain why uh, I'm doing this and why I said I was doing this potentially a few months ago, why I'm saying that it looks like that's the direction I'm going to go now. Man, it is has become extraordinarily difficult for me because I have been uploading videos, believe it or not, now to YouTube for, are you ready? 15 years. I created my, well, I created my account 15 years ago and um, it was uh, actually 14 years ago that I uploaded my first Pooter video and um, it's it's been incredible. It's been great. I never thought in a million years that I would be able to do it for this long. You know, I had a I had a great time doing it. It was a lot of fun. And um, let me show you something. I'm going to show you something. I got this. Uh, I have this texting service, okay, where it's a text group, almost like an email list. And um, I'm not even going to tell you the number of what it is right now because I'm not here to push that or promote that. Um, but I got this, uh, I got this message today, this text message today. It says, Hey Jack, my name is your team at the Pooter site. Pass me your number. I'm reaching out to basically say, thank you. I lost my father shortly before Christmas last year. And he was a big fan of yours. His favorite videos were always the elevator pranks. It popped up that you had a new elevator video the other day, so I watched it and broke down badly. I thought about all the times we watched your videos together and all the laughs we had. He would have loved the new videos, and it sucks that you can't that I can't share them with him anymore. However, watching that made me feel closer to him for a moment. He was alive and well in my head, and I loved every second of it. What you do may be silly. It is, but it is helping me through my grieving. I felt that I, I felt that is something you'd like to know. I appreciate what you do, and I hope that you have a great day today. Unbelievable! I, I these messages. Um, people are in hospitals. 
recovering from things or battling illnesses or surgeries or um, depression. Um, and honestly, it, I've, it's been years that I've been getting these types of messages. These I, I remember when they first started, I think it was 2009 when I started paying attention to, you know, more to comments and, and looking at all of that. And I would get these and go, man, it's, I don't know. It, it's hard to really explain. It's an incredible feeling. Um, so I love this. I love it. Uh, I love it because it's always seemed more to me than just taking a fart toy out in public and squeezing it. Um, because it, it always, it seems to do something to people when they, to, to make somebody laugh over something so silly when somebody's having maybe a really bad day. Uh, it's awesome. I, I, um, I'm grateful for it. I've had an incredible time doing it. And, um, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to tell you what happened. So I uploaded this video the other day called farting in an elevator. And this was, I don't even have to tell you. I know I don't have to tell you. Hold on one second. Hey guys, please be quiet. Um, I know I don't have to tell you this, but I'll, I'll I guess I'll tell you anyway. Um, my, all my videos are family friendly. I, I never, you know, if anybody reacts in a certain way that there's, you know, cursing, I'll bleep it out. And, um, I don't curse. I don't curse anyway. So, but it's, it's been pretty easy. Hey guys, please be quiet. Um, so lately, every once in a while, I will upload a video and it will get deleted. Uh, not deleted. I'm sorry. I flagged. That's what I meant to say. It'll get flagged and um, YouTube will say this video is not appropriate. Uh, and it goes against our terms of service. Now, I don't know. To be real clear, I'm going to read an email that YouTube sent me, several emails that YouTube sent me. We've been going back and forth for the past few days, and it's pretty, pretty unreal, this conversation we've been having. Um, but for a while now, what's been happening is uh, every once in a while, one of my videos would get flagged and and um, it, there'd be no monetization. And this has happened on actually several of my videos, even ones that have been up, uh, get this, for six years. Six years. It's been fine. You know, millions of views. <laughs> and all of a sudden, <laughs> so I'm trying to. I had hoped that I would reach this point and it would get better, like it would be done. Um, eventually, they would figure it out. And, you know, there's this new system where you're uploading a video to YouTube for people to see and you can actually submit the check for it in order for it to look for anything that might be inappropriate or whatever. So I do that on every single upload because I want to make sure that uh, that it's good, that it doesn't catch anything you know, anything like that. So what I, so I uploaded farting in an elevator, which if you've seen some of my older farting in an elevator videos, I have done these videos and they're harmless and they're great. And, um, usually adorable because families are coming on and, you know, um, you have a kid go that stinks, you know, even though there's no smell, I've always had fun with these videos. And, and, uh, recently I thought I was, I would do it again. So we went to the mall, rode the elevator up and down and, um, made a, um, a great video. And I, I think the video got up to, you know, maybe 90,000 views or something. And, and then all of a sudden it just stopped. And I got a notification said your view, your video is not family friendly. It is not advertiser uh, appropriate. And so therefore we're going to, um, 
not put ads on this video. And then another video, they did it too. And I'm like, what is happening here? This doesn't make any sense. There's nothing in it that anyone in their right mind would perceive as advertiser unfriendly. Like, in matter of fact, out of over 1,200 videos on my channel from the last 15 years, there's not even, it's no different from any of those. And a whole bunch of them are advertiser friendly. So I, 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 you know, I don't get it. So I went back and forth with YouTube and I'm going to read to you some of the, some of the uh, emails. Okay. I'm not going to be able to see the screen here for a minute, but I, that's okay. I want you to see this. Oh, first of all, let me tell you the first thing that happened. So when this happens, um, this is an automated thing basically, right? So, or somebody flagged it or whatever. So I go on there and I, I'm, I'm looking and there's an option where you can appeal it. If you appeal it, that means they're going to take a human being at YouTube and actually manually review the video to see if it was a mistake or whatever. So I did that. And they went in and they reviewed it as a human. And within about two days, I got an email back saying, we have seen that this video is indeed inappropriate and contains material that goes against our terms of service. So I hate to say this, but we're going to, they didn't say, I hate to say this, but they said, uh, we're going to stand by our decision. Okay. So now YouTube has this new thing for creators where you can actually go on and, and um, thank you for the super chats, by the way, I, I don't want to leave you out. I'm so sorry. I, I just noticed that there's, um, it looks like uh, there's a few super chats. So thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. Um, so YouTube has this new feature where you can chat. You can live chat with support and uh, go, you know, talk directly to a person. I think it's a person. They say it's a person. And so I go on there and I'm chatting doing a live chat. I explained the situation and he said, I understand this is important to you. Let me try and see if I can rectify this. Maybe there's something I can do. Sure enough. They said, we want to help you with this. We see that you're, you're in good standing with us and, and we're going to work that we're going to escalate this to somebody else. And I said, great, thank you. you know, well, they've done this before and sometimes it comes back. Okay. Sometimes somebody else will look at it and it'll get to the right person and they'll go, Sorry, we know a human saw this and and uh, deemed it to be not appropriate, but obviously it is. So here's your content back, you know, and it's going to be okay. The problem is once they they make it advertiser friendly again, it's kind of too late because once they make it not advertiser friendly in the system, you stop growing. The video stops getting views or you start getting views much, much slower now. So I'm like, okay, but at least it's going to get fixed, you know. And then it doesn't get fixed. Instead of a human being coming back to me and saying, uh, we have uh, decided to fix this for you. This is actually what they said. JCTV Pro, thank you. Love your videos. They make me laugh. Thanks, brother. Appreciate that. Uh, so here's what, here's what the email says. Hi there. I hope this email finds you well. Uh, wait a minute. When is this? Five days ago. Okay, perfect. I understand that you would like to know how to best handle this situation. Here's what I can share. Our internal support team has circled back with an update from your concern that was escalated for review. Due to the nature of your video content, we found that your content doesn't align with the advertiser-friendly content guidelines and may not be suitable for advertisers. As an example, we detected, get ready for it, you're going to like this, shocking content. And that's a link in the email. So when you click that link, it takes you to YouTube's terms of service. It says you can't have shocking content. And this is what we define as shocking content. Farting in an elevator is not in that list, by the way, just so you know, because um, I clicked it. Title, description, thumbnail, metadata are also contributing factors, not just the content itself. Videos without a proper, uh, without a proper metadata, without a proper metadata, okay likely don't provide enough context to help the system understand if the content is suitable for all advertisers. So it may lead to a yellow icon status for the video. For those of you that don't know, 
If the green dollar sign, which means your video is monetized, turns yellow, it means you're going to have limited ads or no ads at all. Usually it just means no ads, which is the case with me. Any future uh, changes made to the title, thumbnail, description, or any other metadata may also uh, change the monetization icon. Okay. You can use the checks page during the upload screen. They give me all this stuff that I already did and I already looked into it and everything. So because of the, your current uh, violation, your video will remain with a yellow icon and receive limited or no ads. Keep in mind that videos with the yellow icons can still earn YouTube premium revenue. And by the way, for those of you that don't know this, YouTube premium revenue is very, very minor. Okay, it's nothing. Um, I wish I could do more. It's just that this is the best option that I could offer you at this point. And you can only have a video reviewed once. Now, this is key. You can only have a video reviewed by a human once at YouTube. Okay. That in itself is enough to realize what a horrendous system this is. That means if somebody from the team goes, well, I just don't like that brand of humor. I'm just not a fan of that. And believe it or not, I know you don't know, but there are people like that out there. But that means that if somebody looks at your content and goes, I just don't like Jack. I just don't like farts. I don't like this. I don't like this kind of stuff. They can literally just do this and that's it. And they can do it knowing it can't be appealed at that point. So I responded back and I said, let me see. That was, that was, that was March 31st. Um, okay. So I responded back. I said, hello, Eli. Eli was the guy's name. Throw an Eli under the bus. Uh, hello, Eli. This was a mistake. Can you please have someone actually physically look at the video? My videos are always family friendly and have been since I started my YouTube career 15 years ago. This email states that my videos contain shocking content, but that's not true. None of my videos contain shocking content and they're always appropriate for all ages and advertisers. Please take a look. This is obviously a mistake. Please help. Um, I'm going to tell you his response in just a minute. But also, hey, thank you for your uh, super chat, Mars Mars County. Um, so I forgot to tell you that before these emails started getting exchanged, I actually went back to the chat thing and I said, listen, a human reviewed it and they're not, you know, so I've been going back and forth with the chat. The chat thing came back and said, and we went, gosh, we talked for I don't know, 30 or 40 minutes. We were chatting, something like that. And I said, listen, um, you know, is there anything that can be done? And they were very, very clear after going around in circles a whole bunch of times that no, there's nothing. Once it's been done once, that's it. The best advice the chat support told me the best advice we could give you is to go back to your email that you received from my colleague, which is Eli, probably somebody they've never met, and respond directly to him. And I said, will he receive the email if I actually? And he said, yes. That's what prompted me to start communicating with Eli. You follow me? So the rest of the email was... Uh, Eli writing to me saying, hi, Jack, thank you for your response. I understand that you do not agree with the decision to limit the ads to your video. However, the video has been reviewed twice by a human from our internal team. Because of this, your video will remain with a yellow icon and receive limited or no ads. Keep in mind that videos with a yellow icon can still earn YouTube premium revenues. They're giving me the same mumbo jumbo. I wish I could do more. It's just that that's the best option I could offer you at this point. And uh, you can only have a video reviewed once. Once. Now, hold on a second. That same email stated that he had a human review it twice. Why did he say that? If he followed it up with, 
we did this because your video can only be reviewed once. Doesn't quite make sense. So uh, I truly appreciate your time and effort in keeping the YouTube ecosystem in monetization in monetization healthy. Please remember that we are always here to help. You can reach out to us anytime. I'm so glad he said that because I did. I said, in that case, Eli, can you tell me where in the video is, in quotes, shocking content? I would like to know what shocking content you are referring to. Since you originally sent me an email saying that my video contains shocking content, please be specific and thank you. Now, reasonable. Don't you think? Don't you think that's reasonable? If, if somebody came to you, imagine your boss comes to you at work and says, listen, uh, you have been disrespectful to one of your coworkers. And I said, uh, what do you mean by that? And they said, listen, we just know. Okay, what do you mean? Well, in a conversation that you had to one of your coworkers yesterday, you were disrespectful. And then wouldn't it be reasonable for me to say, what conversation was that? Yes. Yes, it would. And then what would they say to me? They would say, it was the conversation that you had with your coworker about cars. I said, okay, now we're getting somewhere. And then I would say, what part of that conversation was disrespectful? And they said, listen, that's all I can tell you. Makes What do you mean that's all you can tell me? We've narrowed it down to a conversation yesterday about cars with one of my coworkers. Good. That part's good. Now, now that we know what we're dealing with, let's really find out what was it in the conversation that made me disrespectful to one of my coworkers. And they would just continually tell you over and over, all I can tell you is it was about cars and it was yesterday and it was with her. And then wouldn't it be reasonable to go to Mr. Bossman and say, uh, could I please talk to her? Can I, is there somebody else who can replay the conversation and show me where it was disrespectful? Of course that would be reasonable, right? Totally reasonable. So they didn't do that, but that's what I'm asking. Eli comes back and says, thank you for your response, Jack. We are not allowed to provide the specifics of the decision. I'm going to read that again. Eli from YouTube Partner Support tells me we are not allowed to provide the specifics of the decision. Something fishy going on here. Something is not right if they can give you some vague idea of, well, it contains shocking information. What if they said it contains pornography? What, what if they said it contains, you know, something really, really far out there, right? Well, where? Because you watch the video and you go, okay, I've just watched the video. Okay, from the beginning to the end, and there's no shocking content. There's nothing inappropriate. There's nothing that would be deemed as advertiser unfriendly. There's, it's all good. In fact, it all reflects all of the other 1,200 videos that I have on YouTube and have uploaded over the last decade and a half. Compare it. Watch it. Because any human with a brain, with common sense, any common sense at all, would watch the video and they'd go, I don't get it. There's nothing wrong with this video. What could possibly be the problem? So my question to them was not an unreasonable question. I just wanted to know if I did something that made it advertiser unfriendly, if I went against the terms of service, I would like to know. So for them to come back at me and say, well, we can't tell you what you did. Well, then how am I supposed to know? And, and Eli says, we'll click here to learn about our terms of service. 
So then I write back to Eli and I say, I clicked here and I'm very familiar with the terms of service. And that's why I make sure that every one of my videos is family friendly and advertiser friendly. I always do that. So once I reach that point and I compare and I study and I read and I make sure the video is appropriate for all, for everybody, what do I do then? If there's nothing in the video that lines up with anything that would be against the policy, then what can I do? This is what Eli says. There's nothing we can do because a human at YouTube already reviewed it. So this is what Eli said. I know that you won't accept this. <laughs> He's getting a little abrupt with me now. He, he kind of knows that I'm upset. I know that you won't accept this. However, we've tried our best communicating with our internal team, and they are firm with their decision to keep your video in a limited ads serving state. I really appreciate your interest, but unfortunately do not have any more information at this point. I have already shared all of the details in my previous email. So I wrote back, okay, Eli, is it true that it was you who saw the video? Can you confirm with me that it was you or if it was someone else? I would just like to understand the process better. Also, just to confirm, if YouTube says something violates policy, or in this case, they have given me the reason that there is shocking content in the video, they do not have the obligation to state where this shocking content is in the video. I just want to make sure I understand. You see, I chatted with someone from YouTube tonight, and they kept telling me to read the YouTube terms and policies, which I did and which I'm familiar with. I've read them many times as they've changed them consistently over the years. And I'm sure you can at least understand my confusion since my video does not violate any of those terms or policies according to YouTube's actual terms and policies. For example, why would a human at YouTube make this decision if it doesn't violate anything. So can you at least provide this clarity for me? A human at YouTube can review my YouTube video and state that it contains shocking information, but they will not tell me where the shocking content is within that video. If that's true, I would. it would mean that I then go and read the terms and see that I didn't violate anything I would have, and I would have no way to fix the problem in the future. So I just want to make sure I'm understanding that correctly, Jack. Okay. He says, hi, Jack. I really appreciate your interest, but unfortunately, I do not have any more information at this point. I've already shared all of the details in my previous email. I am happy to sum it up one more time, though, and then he goes into this long email that literally repeats the previous email. Now, I'm not going to bore you with more, even more, yet more of this stuff. But there were about four more emails beyond that that went back and forth with me and this Eli from YouTube support. You know, I have really, really enjoyed this over the years. Uh, on YouTube. I've really, really enjoyed it. And I mean it. Um, a few months ago, I went to somebody's house last night and uh, some, some friends of ours and uh, that some new friends of ours actually. And um, he, this guy came up to me and he said, he said, you know, cause I was explaining this to him, the, the whole problem. And he goes, you know, I wonder, and I'm not making any full on statement here when I say what I'm about to say, but he brought up a point that just made me think, he goes, do you think that it has anything to do with your beliefs? 
Because I remember a few months ago, you posted um, very vocally that uh, you said Jesus is king. Uh, and I thought, and it like took off. And then I, I started to think about it. And I went, I don't know, I hear about this stuff all the time, you know, whatever. Like, did I somehow get in bad graces with somebody? Like, and they're just like, ah, we don't like, I, I don't know. I can't. I can't explain it. I don't know for sure. I'm not even saying that that's true. Um, but Jesus is king. And uh, I will never apologize for saying that. Um, because he is. <laughs> and there is only one king. So um, I hope that's not what it is. Uh, but this has been a long time coming. This has been going on for a long, long time. And it's just been more frequently lately. So over the past few years, this has happened multiple times. This, I'm, I'm expressing probably some frustration here. I don't know. But I do it because this is one of many times I have been through this. And on this particular occasion, usually I just let it go. And every once in a while, they'll give the monetization back to the video, you know, but this time they just wouldn't do it. And the problem with it is that it's a, it's a, you know, there's, there's nobody else you can go to. You can't go to, to, could you please have this reviewed by someone else? Can you please let somebody with a brain look at the video and actually tell me to my face? <laughs> How can you not? How could you look at something that's this clean and funny and have some kind of an issue and, and, and actually say to the, to the creator's face, can't you see that this video goes against our terms of service? No, they can't. <laughs> Nobody would see that. Okay. It's called common sense. Okay. Now I say all of that to say this, Jesus is king. <laughs> And um, one of the things that I've really enjoyed, I'll tell you, I was so mad, I was so upset about this. Uh, yesterday or a couple days ago, I was going through the emails and everything and, and looking at all of it. And I took the video down off of YouTube, farting in an elevator. I took the video down. By the way, since that video got flagged, I had actually uploaded farting in an elevator two for the, from this year, 2023. And uh, it's fine. That video didn't have a problem, but you know, I don't, I don't want to like, you know, uh, say that too soon. Cause who knows what's going to happen in the future. But as of right now, that video is okay. I even, I even, um, communicated with them at one point and I said, look, I just uploaded the sequel that you could look at and it's almost identical. Okay. It's just, it's in the same elevator. As a matter of fact, uh, the only difference is different people. Is there a problem? You know, um, and they just wouldn't look at it. They didn't care. They they just they won't look at it. So the problem that I have is I've been with YouTube for a long time, and I just feel like you know they should have taken a little more care and um, and pride in in dealing with some of their creators and and trying to kind of have they need a better system. They need a better system in place, and I don't see that happening. I think it's getting worse. Um, I, uh, I, I did, I, I feel like I'm on my way out. So before going out, uh, this, this leads me to what is, what is next? And I, um, started to take some of my content down and then started to upload new videos which are currently on my community on locals. That's why the, the, uh, if somebody, if you don't mind, if you could do me a favor and just and type it in the thing here, uh, in the chat, I'll do that. Here we go. I don't know. Did that show up as a link? Probably not. Nope. <laughs> that's, but that's it. Um, let me see. Can you do this? I think that might be a link anyway. Um, so over on locals, I'm able to kind of do, I'm, I, I can be in charge. 
I can I can upload whatever I want. It's like Patreon. It's basically the same thing. It's a le little less complicated. It's easy to – it's just – it's content and direct communication with me. So you can all have direct communication. I respond, communicate with people, talk to you, text you back, all kinds of stuff like that, and I really appreciate it. So it's a smaller group, and um, this is what I'm – this is honestly what I'm asking. Based on all of this stuff – if you guys would just do me a favor, I, I don't, you know, I don't want to quit, quit, but I'm extremely frustrated with all of this going on um, with the big conglomerates, you know, and I want to be able to be in charge and post what I want to post and be able to communicate individually with you and, um, I want you to tell me what you think of videos and I want I want to like have this community. See to me it's never been about um being stupid. To me it's never been about just squeezing a fart toy or um giving people a line of nonsense and you know being silly out in public. To me it's been the big picture. To me it's been all about what what I, what I really, it's been about what I, it just, it's just deeper. It's, it's, um, I had, there's a video that I've never posted, uh, from, I, it was a blowing bubbles. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but I do this thing where I blow bubbles, you know, behind people's backs. And then I try to put the thing away in the shopping cart before they turn around and look. And by that time, the bubbles are coming down and they don't know where it's coming from. I've been doing that one for years. I hadn't done it in a few years. And so I did it uh, recently in Walmart and met this couple. I'm not going to tell you even in this video specifically what happened, but it was major. And I mean, this was just like a month ago. And um, it ended up... Let me just say this. The three of us ended up in tears, in literally in tears, in the middle of Walmart. Some of you probably saw the video that uh, I ended up praying with this lady, uh, and it all started with a, with a fart noise. Something happens when people can laugh. Something happens. If you can get people to genuinely laugh, then they come down, they take a step down and they come back sort of to, you're bringing them into a different place where now they kind of feel like they can talk about all kinds of things. And that's really what I like the most about what I've always done here. And it's a long story what happened, but they, they had um, just a few days, a few short days prior to this, they had a tragedy, a major tragedy, catastrophe happen in their family. And she began to tell me how important she felt that it was that I continue to do what I do. And um, I just, uh, it became a very emotional uh, experience. You know, it was a very emotional time. It was really something. And I've always taken this really seriously. I um, have never um, been ashamed about my faith. Um, so should I look at some of these? comments. Oh, very nice. There's a lot of really nice comments, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Rumble. Yes, I'm on Rumble. So Locals actually belongs to Rumble, just so you know. Um, and I and I am on Rumble. But Locals is great because um, it's kind of like, you know, how you got YouTube and YouTubers are going to Patreon, right? Well, Rumble owns Locals. So you got to think of it like that. YouTube, Rumble, right? Patreon locals. The cool thing about it is it's locals is very simple. It's very simple. You can go there, sign up. You can actually sign up for free. Uh, 
And then I have it set up so that you can have access to all of my exclusive, you know, my videos and, and um, things like that for five bucks a month. But there's no ads, you know, or anything like that. So it's just a very straightforward thing. And um, I love it. I love it. I'm able to communicate with you guys. And so the link is in the description. And uh, somebody, if there's anybody there and you want to, uh, hey, look at this, human Humor Bagel. Look at this. Look, Humor Bagel's there. I should have known that. Guys, you got to check out Humor Bagel. He's another really good one. Love this guy. How you doing, buddy? Um, sorry, I've been so, I've been in my zone and I, I've not been able to, uh, to, to do that. 1609 said, start your own website, Jack, with paid membership. So that's kind of what I did with locals. Um, and listen, what's great about locals too is, I don't know if you guys know this, but this is not like any of the other services. Like I, I actually get your email address and I get your, your contact information. And so I get to actually communicate with you directly. And I like that. I love that, in fact. So they allow you to kind of have this one one-on-one -on -one relationship, which is great. And... Um, can't see I can't see all of these uh, uh, I can't see all of these but um, Gary said <laughs> Gary, Gary said Jack you sons of Arkham Gilstrap TV and humor bagel should always should make a, a prank movie together I'm not I'm in a lot of favor I'm in big favor of that believe me um, we should add TN4P to the list. And I think one, two, three, four, five, just the five of us. Could you imagine? Farts, the movie. Uh, that could be that could actually be really fun. Because there's a whole it's not a bad idea. I need to think about that. What do you think? You guys up for it? I think we need to do that. Uh, we wouldn't put it on YouTube, I'll tell you that much. Um, random green, thank you so much. Look at this. Thanks. Whenever I have a bad day, you pick me up. Thanks. All the best. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I started uh, I started this by reading a, a text message that I got today from somebody that told me about his dad dying and how they always used to watch my videos and, and everything. And that's actually the reason I do this. So when YouTube puts in place uh, a wall to prevent me from having the ability to do it, it's, all, it's, I don't know. It's like, I take offense to it. I, I just, I think it's ridiculous and uh, not fair and all of those things. Um, I, I also, I, gee, it, was, it was a while back when I um, I did this. Uh, I've, I've done this a few times. I haven't done it in a long time, but I, I've done this a few times where I would, I would say, those of you who know me know about the pooter, which I don't have right now because that wasn't my purpose of this, of this uh, stream, but a little fart noise toy that I sell at thepooter.com. And um, I did this thing a while back where – I had people go to thepooter.com and buy a pooter, and then I would I would go in to the sales on Shopify, and I would call people back and thank them personally. Um, and I loved doing that because that was the true, you know, I would get people on the phone, and they would tell me about these kinds of stories and stuff that they've uh, been through. So uh, thank you all very much. Um, the, the, um, the biggest thing here now is I want to, I, I want to continue going. I think I'm just really frustrated and I, I don't think this is going to last for much longer. Humor bagel. I don't know if, if you can relate to me, buddy, but I, I have truly, um, I've had a good run, uh, here. I am grateful to all of you. Uh, and I wish there was a way that I could continue on. We'll see. I want to see what's going to happen. I'm not saying that I'm not going to upload anything. I'm saying that 
that I am going to start uploading a lot and do a lot more at locals, which is my community that I get to have control over and none of us have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. So if you believe that laughter really, if I've ever, if any of my videos for the last decade and a half have put you in a better mood, uh, I hope that you will consider following me over there so that we can have some closer contact and uh, help me put this stuff out. Help me get over there and and really um, uh, do more of this. And um, I really hope to, to see you over there. And I'll probably linger around now here for a minute and just see... Uh, <laughs> what some people are saying. Humor bagel. Yeah. Maybe Nelk will take you in. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good fit. I'm not sure if that's a good fit. I did a, a couple of videos with those guys before they absolutely took off and went berserk, you know. Um... But uh, we did farting as target employees, I think. Let me see. Okay, here it goes. Ready? Here's the link. I hope you will consider clicking that link that I just posted, jackvale.locals.com. Jackvale.locals.com. The link is in the description. It's the first thing you see, and it's also in this chat right here because I just posted it. If you could all do me a favor, actually, and copy that link and put it in here so that it stays because it's like going up and now it's hidden. If you could copy that link and keep putting it in here and just enter, enter, enter so that we can it can be there for a little bit and all of you guys can actually click it and go over and see what I'm talking about. You'll sign up for free. It's nothing. You click a thing. That's all there is to it. And then if you want to be a part of the community and actually be there uh, to watch all of the stuff and be able to start communicating and being part of the one-on-one -on -one streams and all that stuff, then um, it's only five bucks a month. And um, it's great. It's great. It's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying talking to people over there. Daniel says I could, I could become a mailman. I don't think it's come to that. Um, I, I really enjoy, but, but I, I appreciate the, the tip, you know, you never know. Uh, would you consider a career in mixed martial arts? I don't think so. I don't think I would, I don't think I would do that, but listen, um, all right, guys, I'm gonna run. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to me and being used as kind of a soundboard, I guess. Um, so, uh, there's more, there's more emails and, and messages going back and forth, but I, I just, I didn't want to keep boring you with all the logistics of, of it all. So, um, anyway, so I appreciate it. I hope to see you on, uh, on locals. It's jackvale.locals.com. I'll post it in here one more time. Did I do it? Jackvale.locals.com. There it is. There it is. All right, guys, there it is. I will, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for listening. And I'm going to update you as I find out a little more information about this. Okay. Thank you for your support. Uh, God bless you. Jesus is King.